and Allah informed Prophet Musa alayhi salat wa salam that the least person in paradise will be a person who was in hellfire who was burnt in hellfire so much that he became totally black by the fire and Allah would put him in the river of life and then Allah will say to that man go and enter paradise and the man will say oh Allah he's filled up everybody took their place there's no place for me and Allah will say go into paradise here's a man who was in hell and he will be the least and the last person to go to paradise Allah will say go enter into it and the man said oh Allah please don't mock me you're the Lord of the worlds please don't mock me there's no room for me and then Allah will say go enter and the man will enter and Allah will ask him would you like to have a kingdom like the great kingdoms of the people or the kings of the world he said yes and Allah will say you shall have that and it's like and it's like and it's like and it's like and ten times more and this person will be the least in heaven and Allah will ask him and tell him you shall have everything that you desire and whatever you ask for you shall have and this shall be the least in paradise Allah is great you can't earn Jannah you can't earn paradise to live forever you complain that Allah only gave you 20 years or only gave your child five years, or only gave your mother uh, 60 years, you complain, shut up. What is 60 years? What is 100 years? What is 150 years compared with infamy in paradise of the greatness of paradise and all the joys and the pleasure of paradise? Imagine being in paradise with your grandmother that died years ago, or your grandfather, or your mother, or your daughter, or your son, or your husband, or your wife. Imagine being in paradise together forever. No more death.